For over two decades, Xterra has brought together some of the world's fittest, toughest, and craftiest endurance athletes for a series of off-road triathlons, races that combine open water swimming, mountain biking, and trail running, and demand skill and tenacity, guile and grit. More than a sport, Xterra is a lifestyle, requiring total commitment from the bold and ambitious warriors who want to test themselves against the elements, the terrain, the conditions, and each other in some of the most spectacular natural settings in all of athletics. In this, the 24th season of Xterra Racing, the sports appeal continues to grow, and as more and more professional athletes are drawn to its unique challenges, the stakes are higher and the victories harder to come by. But it's more than just elite triathletes who live and breathe in Xterra. For the thousands of elite group competitors, training can become a personal mission. And reaching the Xterra finish line represents a major life accomplishment. This series will bring you the stories, the motivations, the frustrations, and the triumphs of the 2019 Xterra World Tour. For episode one, we head to Kenton on the dazzling southern shore of Taiwan, where in late March, some of the world's top Xterra athletes, including the 2017 world champion, gathered for the first major event of the season, the Asia Pacific Championship. Xterra Adventures is presented by Tea Tree, eco-minded hair care infused with natural botanicals. Discover the natural magic of tea tree the Maui Visitors and Convention Bureau. Visit gohawaii.com slash Maui. When we founded Paul Mitchell nearly 40 years ago, people would ask, John Paul, why do you want to make hair care products? I tell them, I don't. I want to make super hair care products. But it's more than that. It's hair color that makes you feel like a million bucks and passionate people doing what they love. It's giving back, treating the planet kindly, and supporting the professional hairdresser. To me, it's not just about hair care. It's creating something beautiful for all of us. We are of this place. Every action we take needs to have purpose. And that purpose is not to catch every single fish we come across. That's so good. The ocean has been here a million years before we ever got here, and it's gonna be here a million years after. The race brought together elite athletes from all over the globe, including South Africa, New Zealand, France, Mexico, for the kickoff to a year-long campaign that will culminate at the 2019 Xterra World Championship in Maui this October. For age group participants, qualifying for Maui would represent the highlight of their athletic career, like an amateur runner qualifying for the Boston Marathon. For the elites, the race in Kenting provided the opportunity to chase prize money and prestige and to test their early season form. Among the professional athletes racing in Taiwan was a 35-year-old former firefighter who had recovered from a serious Achilles injury to make it back to the starting line in Kenting. My name's Jackie Allen. I'm from the United Kingdom, currently living in Australia, Wollongong. I've been doing Xterra now for seven years. I met my husband doing the sport and loving every minute of the whole adventure. In 2011, the Englishwoman met Ben Allen, an elite Xterra racer from Australia who shared Jackie's competitive spirit and sense of adventure. My mum was talking to Ben at the time and she was like, oh, you know that Aussie guy, he's really nice. Why don't you go and talk to him? And a few months later, um, I rang my mum and I was like, mum, you know that Aussie guy that you met? a few months ago while well, we've kind of got together and I'm going to Australia and we're going to do all these amazing races together and she was like right okay then <laughs> so that's pretty much how it started and Ben was really the one that encouraged me to to pursue a career in Xterra alongside him and that's what we've done ever since for the last six or seven years. We will go and recce the courses together and we will stop and do obstacles and talk tactics and talk lines together so we can share that. 
Last year I suffered an Achilles injury. Although at the time it's it's a real struggle and you know you put on a few extra kilograms and you're struggling when you're out riding and you can't run and swimming's not going so well. The motivation is to get through those tough days and you'll be a stronger athlete for it. And I did come back stronger and I feel like a more accomplished athlete through having been through something like that. We have one particular athlete who is hot on my heels at the moment, um, Penny Slater, just a youngster, also from, um, she's from Australia, and she got into Xterra a couple of years ago, and she approached me as an age group athlete, this little cute, naive girl, saying she wanted some coaching and would I be willing to coach her, and I started to coach her, and two years later, she's like clutching at my heels. When race day dawned, Slater, Alan, and the rest of the triathletes gathered on Little Bay Beach to prepare for the grueling test ahead. A local group performed a dance to mark the occasion. And then, at 7 a.m., the athletes plunged into the South China Sea. Among the elites, churning through the 1,500-meter swim leg was Sam Osborne of New Zealand. In five seasons on the Xterra circuit, Osborne placed third at last year's Xterra World Championship, has learned to navigate the hazards of crowded ocean swimming. Open water swimming, I think, um, is a bit like mountain biking and road cycling. You know, there's a lot more to it than what people think. Um, you know, there's a whole, whole raft of things with sighting, drafting, you know, where to sit on feet and, and how to move up and down a group. Um, so, you know, when you're racing, I guess, it's probably something I've discovered more in, in recent years that is the awareness you need to have in the open water. And you know, you obviously need to strategize, you know, whose feet do you, do you want to sit on, who's likely to drop the feet or not drop the feet, and, and you get a pretty good feeling of who's who, you know, by their swim strokes or, you know, what, what goggles they're wearing or whatever. Ben Allen, the superb swimmer from Australia, was first out of the water. Clocking 19 minutes and 40 seconds for the first leg of the race. But following Allen in the transition one was a large group that included Osborne, Maxime Chenet, and Bryce DeWard of France, and Bradley Weiss, the 2017 world champions in South Africa. The women's race were led out of the water by Nicole Walters. She split just a tick over 22 minutes with a 1.5 kilometer swim. But within a minute of the English women, with a pack of five athletes that included Jackie Allen, second in the swim, and, somewhat surprisingly, her protege, Amy Slater of Australia. I'm known for losing concentration during the swim and dropping off the front pack, but I've worked really hard on my swim over summer and I've had the most consistent block of swimming I've ever had. So coming out of the water, I was just thinking, yes, I'm in a group because obviously the first couple of Ks are on the road, so it was important to come out with the front group. And I know if I'm anywhere near Jackie on the swim, then I've had a really good swim. I would probably say that I was a good swimmer. Um, since I came to Xterra, I, I very rarely miss the front group. I guess it's more of a conscious decision not to lead out of the water a lot of the time. It was a, a really flat and fast um, swim and um, luckily I managed to hang in there with the faster swimmers and if I manage to come out with the, with the front pack it really makes my life a lot easier. Um, so coming out the swim I was with all the leaders and um, they managed to open up a few seconds between the exit of the swim and, and the entry of T1 there was about a 500 meter run um, so that a few of them like really picked up the pace especially Sam and they pushed it quite hard and I wasn't too worried about it I knew that there was a long hard bike ahead. Brought to you by Paul Mitchell. At Paul Mitchell, we believe in the beauty of giving back, protecting our forests and waterways, feeding families in need through sustainable community gardens, and ensuring that our products are always cruelty free. Big or small, there's beauty in making a difference every single day. That's what connects all of us together in a deep, meaningful way. Join us, live beautifully. The coral is the oldest of our ancestors. There is a molecule that is not only found in coral tissue, it's found in the lungs and in the heart of the human. 
science now has empowered me to speak of this idea of human environmental connection that I grew up with, that I just see as the truth. So did my ancestors. Early on in the mountain bike portion, which was 26 kilometers or roughly 16 miles, Vice began to push the pace. Struggling to stay with Vice was his friend and frequent training partner, Sam Osborne. We, we do not race each other in training. And I think that's probably the most important thing. It's why it works. Um, you know, you look at Boulder camp last year, we finished second and third at, at World Champs. Um, had we gone and been competitive racing and raced each other, we would have raced our World Champs weeks before we turned up in Maui. Um, I guess we, we've always gone by the saying, you know, build form, don't show form. Um, if you don't go by that or, you know, have something like that going on, you're definitely going to cook yourself well before, you know, when it really counts. Yeah, you should touch on the pull out of the horse and run. I think, um, look, once the gun goes, it is every man for himself out there. We don't really talk to each other, you know, in the race. Um, well, very, very little communication goes on. I mean, I guess it's like this mutual understanding. Uh, we both want to win the thing. Um, and at one, at one time, you've got to, you know, Put, a, put some kind of a move in that's going to be the winning move of the day. Um, so you can't, you know, I guess have this friendship thing going the whole time. You, know, you can be friends off the course, but on the course, yeah, it's, it's game on. Osborne, a coffee connoisseur and latte artist, was first exposed to off-road triathlon racing when his family's coffee cart was stationed at an Xterra event in his native New Zealand. This is his training mate Vice who injected a double shot of pace into the mountain bike machine. His time on the bike, 1 hour, 14 minutes, and 14 seconds, with the fastest on the day by more than 2 minutes. Meanwhile, in the women's race, Walters, the leader out of the water, was suffering and fell back on the bike. Four riders, Jackie Allen, Penny Slater, Samantha Kingsford of New Zealand, Fabiola Corona of Mexico broke away early on the ride. But the pack of four was soon reduced to two, as Allen asserted herself on the corner, and only Slater, one of the athletes Allen coaches, was able to go with her. Racing with the elites for the first time is Fenson, a 37-year-old surfer turned triathlete and native of Taiwan who won his age group at this event in 2018. He spent mountain biking in Kenting National Park for years, and in 2015, he opened his own triathlon training school as a way to introduce other local athletes to the sport and surroundings he loves. What brought me to Xterra is someone who designed Xterra's racing rules. I got to know this wonderful sport, be in touch with our amazing nature, with myself as well. My favorite training method really is to train like a child. I found myself as a child with that pleasure simply exploring the surroundings. It really is more a lifestyle I enjoy. Right,所以说我觉得那不是个训练，它只是一个让我喜欢的生活方式。这一点呢，其实当时只是一个想用运动去。那我们还还没认识很纯正的这些的。People Tanso,其实当时我们只是一个探索,探索的一个美丽的景点。I enjoy the most creating those happy moments, bringing joy to every life. It's definitely more meaningful than simply to be exterior Through this sport, we hope to promote the appreciation of our nature, protect and nurture the planet that we live on. Sports like this bring minimum damage to the planet as we explore and love it. 
的方式，然后我们用最最最低污染的方式来爱爱护这地球。This segment is brought to you by Maui Gym Sunglasses. We are of this place. Every action we take needs to have purpose, and that purpose is not to catch every single fish we come across. That's so good. The ocean has been here a million years before we ever got here, and it's going to be here a million years after. 
didn't look back and kept um, powering on. I'm always good at running fast along the flatter sections towards the end. I'm always tend to get stronger towards the end of the race. So I was super motivated. I knew that it was Penny ahead. So obviously would have loved to have cat caught her and take the win, but also pretty happy with second behind a, a pretty special athlete. She certainly pushed me and I've certainly emptied the tank today and got a lot out of myself and uh, really happy with the, the end result. Slater's triumph was also a victory in a way for Elle, as it validated her effectiveness as a coach. Super proud, I mean, it's really win-win for me as a coach. Um, if anyone's going to beat me, I'd so much rather it to be one of my athletes, and especially Penny, I know how hard she works, and um, her training, we've changed her training this year, and I think it feels very nice that it's paid off and she's believed in what we've asked her to do. We've asked her to change quite a bit and almost hold back a little bit. I've changed a lot in the way I approach racing and um, just changing a little, lots of little things like my diet and um, not going so hard in training sessions, sticking to what I'm told that I should be doing and that's made a massive difference. I have never won an Xterra race before and um, I've come second the last few years at Asia Pacific Champs, but I think this year was even better because the field here is incredible. I mean, we've got some of the best athletes in the world and um, this just cemented in my mind that I am actually up there with them. I think last year I was a bit, I didn't really feel like I belonged quite um, with those top girls and this is, I knew I had a really good summer and this cements in my mind that yes, I do belong uh, near the top with the rest of these girls. Xterra Adventures is presented by the Hawaiian Islands. Visit GoHawaii.com. Xterra, racing and apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit XterraPlanet.com. One week after the race in Taiwan, Sam Osborne and Jackie Allen would earn a measure of revenge at Xterra. Osborne dominated all three phases of the men's race to win by nearly two minutes, while Allen outlaid Slater to take the women's title by 16 seconds over the Frank and Koji But even if they hadn't returned to the top step of the podium the following week, Xterra Taiwan was a success for runners-up Jackie Allen and Sam Osborne, for Svensson, who finished his first Xterra as an elite, for Bradley Weiss, who cemented his status as one of the sport's best, for Penny Slater, who dazzled in her breakthrough performance, and for the many other participants who tested themselves and inspired others in one of the most spectacular settings in the sport. I think the best part of it, you know, is the travel and, and getting immersed in or seeing so many different cultures that you probably would never have, you know, chosen to go to yourself. Um, the best part of being an ex-terra professional athlete, I think is definitely seeing all the amazing locations you get to go. I mean, Taiwan's a perfect example. It's spectacular here. And I never would have traveled as much as I have if I wasn't racing as a professional. But also, I just, um, the whole Xterra family is pretty amazing. I mean, you see all the other pros at the races, even the age groupers and the staff, and it's, there's a real camaraderie, I think, and it's really just amazing to be part of the Xterra family and to be able to travel the world pretty much with my friends and have a really good time. Coming up in the next episode, the 2019 Xterra World Tour heads to Greece and the sparkling Athens Riviera, where we'll hear from a three-time world champion, an American elite who has given his adult life to Xterra, and an architect and mother of three whose off-road triathlon career is flourishing in her 40s. All that and more next time on Xterra Adventures.
Xterra, apparel for your active lifestyle. Visit xteraplanet.com today. Enter the promo code Taiwan20 at checkout for an extra 20% off regularly priced merchandise. At Maui Gym, we're inspired by color, driven by clarity, and dedicated to improving your view no matter your vision. Our prescription sunglasses are the most technologically advanced available and are 10 times more accurate than those produced by conventional labs. Our polarized plus two technology enhances color and blocks harmful rays, while our digital processing allows for the widest possible field of vision. Speak to your eye care professional and discover greater clarity with Maui Gym. The view is better from here. <laughs> 